everybody, this is Harmony with Harmony Stitches and welcome to my channel. Here we chat about my crafting journey, which is usually cross stitch with some knitting and crochet thrown in here and there. Thank you everyone for taking time out of your day um, to come and hang out with me for just a little bit and see what I've been up to. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and do that now by hitting the sus subscribe button and then hitting the bell to receive all the notifications. Then you'll know when I up upload a new video. Um, and thank you so much. Um, last week, I was not able to join you because I didn't have anything to show. I maybe put in one strand of floss the entire week. It was very slow. I didn't get anything done, um, but that's okay. Some weeks are like that and some weeks aren't. Um, this week I've already gotten much more done and I can't wait to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So last week, my, or the last time I was with you, I said that I was going to work on Stars and Stripes by the Prairie Schooler, and I was going to continue working on Abraham Lincoln. Um, I got his head done, and I was working on the border. Um, last week, I got the one strand in, and then this past week, I got two and a half stitches. So I still didn't get very much done, but that's okay. This one's going to go away for a while, and I'll pull it back out when the time is right. So I started working on the blue and that's it. I already had his face done, I believe. And so I'm almost halfway done with the border. I'm all the way done with his face. So that puts me in a really good spot for next time. But that's all the progress I made. I'm stitching this one on 28 count Monaco. I believe this is ivory with the called for DMC floss. Um, there's quite a few more. There's two, four, six, six, and a little tiny bonus chart. So I'll be working on this one for a while, um, but it's okay. Some of them I think are going to be fast stitches because there's not as much counting. Um, George Washington's head was a lot of counting to make sure that all the stitches were in the right place. So I'm hoping that some of the other ones may not be um, as slow going. So then I picked up um, last Sunday, I picked up um, a Weimariner Mom, and this is from Etsy, and I'll put in a photo here of what it will look like when it's finished. Um, I picked this up, and I started working on this, and I had a goal to finish the page, and basically it was straight down the right side of his face through his neck and body. Um, and I did do that and then I got a lot more. So let me show you. So here it is. And this is Weimariner. So I was able to get his head completed. And if you see here, there's a, um, kind of like a curve of where his head and ear come together. Everything to the left of that curve, I got done this week. So all that's left on his head are the eyes and a couple of stitches on the snout and then his whole head is done. I did not like the color that um, she pulled for the eyes and it looks nice on the pattern but that's not the color of the eyes of our particular Weimariner so I'm changing them. I haven't decided what color yet. What's called for is 301. It's just a little bit too rusty um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm thinking maybe 3011 or 3012. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, I, as you can see, I have a lot going on here. I don't know how or why I got it so far over to the right side of the fabric, but this is supposed to say Weimariner Mom on it. And I decided that, and it's charted in 666, which is Christmas red. Um, I didn't like the color and I don't, want it to say Weimariner mom. I want it to commemorate our Weimariner Dexter. So I will either stitch it across the top or maybe down along the side. If that doesn't work out, then I will do something fun with the frame. Um, this is stitched on 18 count off white Ada with the called for DMC that she has in the chart. Okay. And then today I 
um, you know, got, I woke up and got started with my day and I realized that um, patriotic season, if you will, is coming up with Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July. Um, so I wanted to pick up something that I knew that I was pretty close to and because I want to get it finished up and on display for that season. So I picked up Liberty Chokeful by Hands on Design. Um, if you remember, I stitched this during March for March Madness and I got pretty far. So I picked it up again today and um, side note, this is actually my second time filming, so I did get a lot more progress in, from the first time. There was a mishap with my file on my phone, and so I have to come up here and redo this video for you. So I have quite a bit done. I am almost finished outlining the leaves and the flowers up top. I have about two more strands worth to do, and then I just have to fill everything in and add the green for the leaves. So I believe that I can get this done this week. I do only have um, until Wednesday to stitch because then we're going um, on family vacation and I have a special stitch for that all prepared and ready to go. My family doesn't know it yet so it's going to be a surprise for them and I will share all of the details on that project when I get back. So I have three days to stitch this in the morning before work on my lunch break and then in, in the evening when I get home. So we'll see how far. I really don't have a lot left. I say that every single time that I talk about a project and I think most cross stitchers do, but I really don't. Like I said, I have about two strands, maybe three of white left, and then I have to fill in um, the, the rest of the flowers. So these ones on this side are completed except for the Smyrna cross in the center of the flower. And then these ones just have the blue and the Smyrna cross. And then obviously the, the ones on the top need all of the centers done. And they really don't take a long time. It takes about a half an hour for, um, I have 15 minutes to a half an hour to stitch the red in each flower. And there are five of them. So, I mean, a half an hour a piece, that's two and a half hours just to do the red. The, the blue centers take absolutely no time at all. So, I mean, it shouldn't take that long. There's eight of those. So, I don't know, maybe five hours left to stitch on this one. And I think I can squeeze that in this week. So, this project is stitched on 28 count black Monaco with the called for DMC conversion that's listed on the chart. She always, um, Kathy Haberman from Hands on Design always gives a um, DMC conversion in case that's what you want to stitch with. Okay, so th that's those ones. Um, we, yesterday was April 30th, so we just finished up the Travel the USA April Stitch Challenge. And the goal was to stitch as many my stitches that equal. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so for those of you that are new, it's in the Michigan Cross Stitch group. So if you happen to be a Michigan Cross Stitcher and you're not in the group, go ahead and send me an email. My email will be below and I'll get you invited in. And I started this at the beginning of the year, a Travel the USA Stitch Challenge. So what we do is every month um, I spin a wheel on my phone to see what state capital we will be traveling to. In April, it was Madison, Wisconsin. Um, for me, it was 439 stitches or something like that. It was about 80 stitches a weekend, each weekend, if I wanted to break it up into four weeks. Um, so we finished that up. Yesterday was the last day I had to do 52 stitches and I got 53. So it's not very much, but I did bring Lady the Flag up. That's, that's my focus piece for Travel the USA. Um, and I will show you the 50 stitches that I got in. Okay, here she is, Lady of the Flag. It's coming along quite nicely. I put in 42 stitches here in the white on the flag. And then I put 11 stitches here that... Um, leftmost row of red on that stripe. So this is almost this is all the way to the left of the piece. 
Um, so I'm going this month, I'm going to continue stitching on the flag and see how far I can get up there. Um, I want to try to finish everything that would be in this for in the frame of the Q-snap before I move um, on to a different section. So this is stitched on 30 count linen, um, We the People from the Primitive Hair. Um, most local needle workshops can order it from Primitive, Primitive Hair for you, so I would recommend that. Um, this is a very loose linen, so if you like even weave, you may want to check into different fabrics from different um, vendors, but I'm getting used to it, and this frame that I have does help. I am using all of the DMC floss called for in the pattern, except for the dress. As you can see, it is teals instead of the creams and golds that's called for and I always forget to bring the pattern up here with me so I don't have it to show you but maybe next week I will remember to bring it so you can see them side by side. I actually will not be stitching on her until the second weekend of May. Um, my family is going on vacation so I will not be here this next weekend to film another video so I will be back on Sunday May 15th um but my I can tell you what my plans are I mean we kind of go went over them already so Monday Tuesday Wednesday of this week I'm going to continue stitching on Liberty Chalk Full and then Thursday through Sunday I'm going to stitch on the vacation piece that I picked out what I will be stitching on the following week um after we return, I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm going to be stitching on that travel piece until Monday. So then Tuesday through Saturday, I don't know what I'm going to be stitching on. It just depends on how far I get on um, everything. I may want to continue on my travel stitch. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. So I think that's all that I have to share with you all. The only thing that I purchased this week was the couple of flosses that I needed for the travel stitch. Um, I did pick up a floss that my daughter needed. She got a little kit um, from the local needle workshop and it was not kitted up by them. It was kitted up by the designer, but they didn't include enough floss. Um, they probably did include enough floss for the original fabric. I think it was 36 count. They probably intended for you to stitch it with one strand of floss. My daughter's stitching it on 14 count Ada and she's using two strands. So there just wasn't enough. And I said, well, that you've had this kit for a while. We probably won't be able to find um, the right color variegated over dyed floss. Um, it was black raspberry jam, I believe. And I said, it probably won't match. So just finish up doing what you're doing. And then we'll see about how we can tweak the colors to finish the pattern up. And it's it's a cat. It's like the outline of a cat. And I'll show you when she gets it done. Um, but when I was there, I took a, at the local needle workshop yesterday picking up my floss. I noticed that there was two on the rack. And there were, of course, overdyed flosses, um, the dye lots can vary from one to the next. One was light and one was dark. And I thought, oh my gosh, this dark one is just like the one that she has at home. So I sent her a photo and she agreed. She said, please get me the dark one. So I got that. So I'm excited to show that to you. I'm hoping that maybe she stitches on it this week. And I'm really excited because it'll be her second finished um, project. So that's really exciting. Uh, I think besides the couple of flosses that I picked up, I don't have any other purchases, um, except for the pattern. Again, I'll show that next week. Um, I hope that by watching this video, even though it's only just a couple of moments long, I hope that you were able to see something that inspired you to pick up a current project that you have, no matter what craft it is, or maybe you saw something that you, that gets you just inspired to get going to do something. So until May 15th, have a great week, have a great two weeks, and I'll see you soon. Bye.